Hey guys, this is Sora here from Take Care, and today I've got the Resurrection Remix ROM from the Redmi Note 4. And yeah, guys, as you can see, I'm trying from the very beginning. There is no support for the fingerprint sensor. So if you are too much used to the fingerprint sensor, like we all are, so yeah, this ROM is not for you. But this ROM is good if you want to change the taste of ROM. So yeah, you can go for it. It is the Resurrection Remix ROM, and there are a few bugs, and I will show you that one by one. Like video calling is not working. And I do have a, a screenshot of that. So guys, we are still on uh, Marshmallow. No, no good as of now. Pre-rooted ROM, that's a good good thing I would say. Kernel Auditor is pre-installed, which means that you can easily play with the kernel. You can easily underclock the processors, uh, you know, disable few cores as well. So yeah, that's a pretty good thing. As you can see, yeah, like I said earlier, apps and ADB has got the root access, which means the ROM is pre-rooted. And there is a super issue icon on the left on the but on the top you can see. So guys, we get around 1.3 GB free on the very first boot, and that's kind of uh, you know I'm very much amazed. I really thought that I will get more like 1.6 to 7 gigs free. So now talking about the uh, theme manager, theme manager works fine without any issue. What Resurrection Remix excels is in here. You can see there are a lot of uh, configurations. They work fine without any issue. The main issue is that the you know. Volti video calls that doesn't work. Volti calls does work, and there are the camera defocusing issue that's still there. I, I haven't checked GPS, but uh, I'm not really sure about that. So if you really want to give it a try, do let me know about the GPS bug, and I will be waiting for you. So guys, uh, there are a lot of things like we all know, and that's why we prefer Resurrection Remix. I personally prefer Resurrection Remix, but still I would say this is not an everyday using build. You, you can easily try it for a day or two but not more than that and I'm not very much uh, I will not recommend you using it for quite a long time and we get add away audio FX is pre-installed and audio FX works without any issue add away as we all know that is a software that actually you know blocks the annoying ads but without ads uh, people like us <laughs> won't uh, be, won't be able to survive anyways uh, Omni switch is there Omni switch is like the uh, smart uh, smart ball of uh, kind of thing that we have seen in the MIUI and you can see there is a task menu on the side and we can easily work with that so that feature also works well and in case of the uh, networking the Volti video call doesn't work but Volti calls work and I will give you the proof I hope you have seen it I hope you have heard it and yes that works and guys uh, there is a video call uh, that doesn't work and I hope you can see that the screenshot now talking about the camera well uh, in the previous bit also well I'm talking about the video I thought I was doing the camera anyways uh, talking about video video works fine without any hassle without any defocusing issue but in the case of camera there is the defocusing issue but talking about video let's check it out well, the video is working, it's very smooth, focusing, it's crisp, no issues whatsoever. But, uh, well, I will show you the bug. I'll show you, definitely show you. Guys, for more ROM reviews, uh, please stay with us. And yes, I was shooting at 4K. I forgot to mention you that I was shooting at 4K. And guys, for uh, more uh, ROM reviews of, about the Redmi Note 4, please stay subscribed to our channels. Share our videos in your social media. Tell your friends to subscribe to our channel even more. So like I said, you can see that uh, I actually focused in there, but it actually has been defocused. So tap to focus doesn't work. Even the defocusing issue on even is there when I'm not even tapping. So yeah, that's something that is happening. And uh, yeah, I recommend you to use a third party app that might work out for you, but I'm not very much, you know, I'm not very much sure about that. So I'd say if you're not, uh, if you're into very much camera uh, photography, then don't install it. That's a bug, guys. So this is all for today. Like this is video if you want. Please like if you think this will suck. But do subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Other videos are in the description. Make sure you check that. Then bye, people. Have a great day. Hope to see my next video. Stay awesome. Stay subscribed.